All right, this is officially your first AutoCAD tutorial. Open up AutoCAD. It's just right there on the desktop. Go to this little button here. Just click open. Okay. Um, computer. Go to the EMT share drive. This here down and this bad boy open. Yes, that's fine. Okay. All right, so now you should have something that looks just like this, all right? All right, so I'm gonna switch to my Mac because this virtual environment is just running way too slow. So everything's gonna look a little bit different, but it shouldn't really cause much of a problem, just sort of a heads up. Um, and we're gonna do some editing with this. The most important thing <clears throat> with these CAD packages is that all of these lines, what's going on with this? Okay. Um, all of these lines <clears throat> have to attach to each other. Okay. So, um, what do I mean by that? So, you, all of these CAD, when, when you're drawing a line or whatever, you want to make sure that it's in reference to something else or it's, you know, it, it's actually touching. So, you can toggle basically between um, uh, what it uh, what what it's actually got going to um, attach to so for example um, we want to get this shorten up these things right okay we also want to short up that bad boy okay so what I'm just gonna do is draw a circle just so that um, Yeah, circle. So, and when I draw this circle, I want to make sure that it's in reference to this intersecting point, okay? It's attached to that. So I'm saying circle, you're attached to this intersecting point, okay? And I'm, I'm also saying circle, I want you to be attached to this endpoint right here, okay? And this is just one method of doing it. And you'll notice that this is a different color than everything else. Duh, right? Unless you're colorblind. Um, and that's because of there's different types of lines you can draw, okay? So, I don't know. I'm just going to call this like a reference line. They call it, I guess, a phantom or something. So, I'm going to delete this, but I'm just simply using it to shorten these things up, to, to reference something so I can attach to it, okay? So, you begin by just selecting this, okay? Your, your favorite key is going to be ex escape, okay? Um, and then, so you, you select that, hit lengthen, come down here, and attach it to that, that thing that we, just, that we just made, okay? Come back over here, that thing's going to pop up. Lengthen, same situation, make sure it's intersecting, okay, move your cursor over, hit escape, cool, come over here, select this thing, lengthen, and attach to its point here, okay. So that's what I mean by attaching to different things, okay? And so now I'm done with this reference circle. So bye-bye. Just hit delete, okay? Let's go over here and do the same thing. All right? Circle. Attach it to the center point.
And uh, the other one was like 13.5, I think. So, there we go. Hit escape. Come over here, highlight. Intersection. Cool. Highlight. And I'm just, again, I'm just like drifting over that little, that little blue box there. I'm not doing anything special, just uh, hovering over it, okay? The tutorial is written um, in such a way that these CAD programs used to be basically command prompt based. Um, and they still sort of are. So here's your command window here, so you can just type different things. And, but that's incredibly slow. So the, the you know, the trend now is to use sort of a, a dynamic, I guess, uh, approach. Um, I don't know if that's what you would even call it, but that's what I like to call it. I don't know, I just made that up. Um, and that's just where you're just uh, selecting things on the fly. Okay, so let's let's get rid of this thing here. Okay, so let's go down to the icon that looks like this trim. Now I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I had to because the virtual desktop. I'm not really. I haven't. They haven't set me up with the computer yet. So um, I'm doing this for my Macintosh. Um, so. It's it, it, the 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 environment looks a little different than what you guys are probably going to see, um, but you know the icons are pretty much the same. So hopefully you can hunt down those icons and um, you know get the uh, get the picture there. So again, for the trim function, you're basically setting the first thing that you set are what you do not want to trim. You're basically setting the boundary. And then the second thing you click on is what you actually want to trim, okay? And then you can hit enter or escape. They do the same thing. Now let's come over here and let's clean this ugly mess up, okay? So <clears throat> again, come back to the trim function. You could type that in, into the, uh, into the into the command prompt here, but uh, you know, we uh, I like to click on buttons. I don't like to use I don't like to use a keyboard unless I really have to. Enter. Okay, so this is you know these are the things I don't want to don't want to trim. This is what I want to trim. That's what I want to trim. And you can even highlight, like drag it, you know what I mean, instead of having enter. So as, as few of strokes as possible um, is what you want to get to, okay? So you can get nice and fast. Um, speed is the key. Sorry, I'm just trying to pull up the, there we go, what it's actually supposed to look like. Okay. So let's extend these. Let's work on this. Um, so again, you just select it, latch over here, and then attach it to the intersecting point here. Hit escape. Highlight over this, lengthen, attach it. Okay. I say attach because if you freehand it, it looks like it's real close, but it's not. And um, that can really cause problems when you're working in the 3D environment. Um, so I, I just, I remember making that mistake so many times and things get completely messed up when you're trying to um, relate them. Here, so let's just hit. Trim. So cool. So if you just type in trim, you can just uh, uh, 
spot, not trim, trim. There we go. So again, you can obviously type that in, or just uh, or just click the click the button, whichever one. Obviously, time is money, so be the one that's uh, the quickest method for you. Delete. What else do we got to do here? Let's delete this bad boy here. Catch. Cool. Oh no. What did I do? Come over here and attach this point. Very good. Trim. Bang. Bang. Setting the boundaries. Bang. Bang. Enter. Um, <clears throat> so these CAD packages, they they change so much that in order to stay on top of the game, the internet is is your best friend. Find tutorials or whatever on the internet uh, to keep yourself updated on this. Like I said in the email, um, <clears throat> being able to uh, produce some of these drawings quickly uh, has been extremely beneficial to me uh, throughout undergrad because uh, it just helps you, you know, obviously for, you know, if you have 20 problems to do. Um, you know, for, I don't know, dynamics or vibrations or whatever, you're probably not going to go to a CAD program, but you might need to freehand it or whatever. Um, whatever is the fastest way. So extend this out. Uh, it sort of looks like it's an arbitrary amount, so. cool. So you'll probably notice that um, like this isn't like what it's being referenced to like the polar coordinates or whatever. So you have like a magnitude and obviously like an angle and you can I believe see that you can select which ones you want to change. Right, so I can change the angle if I want to, down to like 95, okay, but that's incorrect, so I want to go backwards. Okay, does that look good? Cool. Done. Done. Alright, so again, hit escape, come down here to add your name. What's up with this? The old right click method. Eh, let's go. Let's be official. Let's put my real name. 
the Randall uh, ID. Uh, for lab hour, just put like, you know, if, you, if your lab hour is scheduled from 4 to 3 or 4 to 5, you know, whatever. Something that just makes me uh, <clears throat> know which, which, which lab you're in. Okay. Maybe we'll have to do like... Why don't you do this? Why don't you just do like uh, the day of the week that you your lab assigned your you know you're assigned so maybe Wednesday dash if you can't you know start the uh, the lab so four that's fine I think that that, that would suffice that would make me happy nice and happy so Wednesday practical. And then we want to name this drawing, I believe. It's already, it's already, uh, it's already named. Cool. So there you go. This is, uh, that's how you edit things. So pretty basic, pretty simple. Um, yeah. Just checking it here. Looks good. Just come up here and uh, just save as. And, um, you know, save it to wherever. You're obviously going to want to print it out on the computer and hand it in. Uh, I have to have, like, a physical copy of it. So, just, uh, yeah, just save it until you can get the, the stock, you know, computers and then print it out. All right, so that's the first one. Sorry it took so long. Um... Enjoy.